Once we have created our environments via the infrastructure menu, we can add tentacles. Before you create a tentacle, you have to decide whether you want a polling tentacle or you want a listening tentacle. This is something that you have to decide when you architect your CICD environment as well as your platform. So in order to add a tentacle, we add deployment target via the add deployment target button and then we have to decide which environment we are going to put the tentacle on i show how we do that for windows and then in a separate topic i will show you how you deploy that on linux so if i click on windows again we have the option of creating a listening tentacle or a polling tentacle or if you use azure you can use azure virtual machine if I want to set up a listening tentacle, I have to first download the tentacle. So I'm on a Windows 64 bit, so we can download the MSI file. I'm going to put the tentacle on the same machine that is hosting my Octopus Deploy because I want to do everything in one server. But when you do this in a real environment, your tentacle will be, as I said, on the server that is going to host your application, not on the server that is hosting your Octopus Deploy. So we install the tentacle tentacle by just going through the wizard when the wizard is installed we will have tentacle manager and then we have to click on get started before we click on get started we just go back and there is like a fingerprint here we need that just click on this button and then that fingerprint will be copied to the clipboard then we can go back to tentacle manager and click on get started so i'm going to set up listening tentacle i click on next and then we need to put the thumbprint in here using paste. The port, as I said, is 10933 and click on next and then we install. Again, as I said, this is basically a whole bunch of PowerShell scripts that we are running. And if you want to automate this process, you can just copy this script and use it in your automation. So Tentacle is installed and it's in running state. Now what we can do is that we have to go back in here and put the server name. This is basically the server name that is hosting the Tentacle or in other words, that's our actual web server. So I can say it is on 127001 because I put the Tentacle on the same machine and the port is 10933 and we click on next. It will find the Tentacle. Now we have to give it a display name. For example, we can call this web server one. And then you need to choose your environment. For now, we only have dev environment. And for the roles, you can provide, for example, web server or you can create API server. What we need to understand is that in Octopus Deploy, we have environments, but then within a given environment, there might be different types of servers. For example, some servers might only serve APIs. Some servers may only serve the websites, like front end. Some servers may only serve the web windows services some servers may only have like databases and then any of those usages are called a role and so when you install a tentacle you have to tell octopus deploy what is the role of that server for example i can say web or front end web or for example uh, IIS website. It's just an arbitrary text and it doesn't have to exist. If you just type it in, it will be created. Leave the policy as default machine policy. We go back in Octopus level two, Octopus deploy level two and work on that. And we just click on save. Our target is registered with the free license. As I said, we can have up to 10 targets. The first time you create a target, it will appear in the relevant environment. And as we see in the target status the first time it's always healthy with warnings and that is because you have to click on connectivity and there is a button which says update calamari as i said always tentacles use some exe files which are called calamari to do the tasks and then uh, first time that you deploy tentacles you have to update the calamari once the calamari is updated it becomes healthy and in the listening tentacle, that's green as well. So we are fine. And now we have an environment which is called dev with a server that is for IIS, for example. And it is green and it's ready to accept deployments. And in the next lecture, we will see that how we can deploy something to this target. Before that, I will just have to show you how we can install the tentacle on Linux-based machines as well, because you might be deploying Java or PHP or Ruby or something like that.